Using a flathead screwdriver, remove the brake caliper anti-rattle spring indicated by the green arrow by prying it out while securing it with your hand. The spring can pop off and go flying, so be sure to have your hand over it and hold it steady. Pull the brake pad wear sensor, green arrow, out of the brake pad on the driver's side. Be very careful as the sensors tend to break when removed. I like to use a pair of needle nose pliers and gently wiggle the sensor out. Using a flathead screwdriver, slowly press the brake caliper piston back into the caliper. This allows the brake caliper to be pulled off the brake rotor easily. I like to pry between the outer brake pad and the brake rotor. This way there is less of a chance of damaging the caliper piston. Remove the two rubber plugs from the brake caliper mounting fasteners as indicated by the green arrows. Next, using a 6mm Allen bit, remove the brake caliper mounting fasteners, green arrows. Working behind the front strut, yellow arrow, open the plastic door indicated by the green arrow for the brake pad wear sensor electrical connection. Disconnect the brake pad wear sensor electrical connector by pressing the release tab and pulling it apart. Remove the brake caliper from the mounting bracket. Do not allow the brake caliper to hang from the brake hose. Secure it to your vehicle using a piece of metal coat hanger or a tie strap. Remove the brake pads from the brake caliper. Then press the piston back into the caliper using a brake caliper piston tool. Install new brake pads into the caliper and the caliper mounting bracket. Install the caliper to the mounting bracket and tighten the fasteners. Then install the rubber plugs. Connect the brake pad wear sensor electrical connector and route the wiring harness as before. Install the brake pad wear sensor into the brake pad. Install the brake pad anti-rattle clip by pressing it into the caliper and pushing down to confirm it's properly seated. Once the calipers are installed and the fasteners are tight, press the brake pedal to pump the brakes up. Once the brake pedal is hard to push, install the wheels and check for brake operation. This is also a really good time to bleed your brakes. Please see the link at the end of this video for an article on how to properly do that. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.